Hello, my name is Chris Camo, and I am the team lead for the Rose Hulman Institute of Technology University Rover Challenge team. I am excited to show you our progress for the system acceptance review. Our team is split up into three different groups, mechanical, electrical, and software. Members from these groups are organized into 10 different multidisciplinary project teams based on interest and expertise. These projects include the chassis, drivetrain, communications, battery, electronics, ruggedization, navigation, target tracking, controls, user interface, and science. We iterated upon last year's design based on the committee's feedback. These criteria included robustness and modularity to improve upon our chances of success at the competition in Utah. The goal for this year's wheels was to optimize the weight, strength, and toughness. We achieved this by creating an easily manufacturable and field serviceable design. Next, we created a material index for each of the components and found that an aluminum polypropylene sandwich structure for the perimeter pieces and an ABS plastic for the sidewalls would give us the best performance. The spaces between the perimeter sports would reduce weight relative to a solid wheel, as well as provide more grip by catching the ground and other obstacles we encounter. Our goal for the Rovers Electronics is to assemble a robust and powerful power system that can supply our high torque motors with the power they need for extended use. At the heart of this system lies four series connected 3.2 volt 72 ampere lithium iron phosphate battery cells. These batteries have the capacity to power the rover for over an hour of continuous drive time. The lithium iron phosphate chemistry ensures the battery will function efficiently in the high heat of the desert sun. The drive control in our rover is managed on an independent microcontroller-based system that communicates to our central processing unit through a USB serial connection. This system uses Victor SBX motor controllers on a PWM protocol to drive our motors from the 12-volt power source. Communication to our rover from the base station is handled by multi-threaded Python sockets, which receive and transmit data from the driver inputs over the long-range antenna system. Our wireless communication system uses two off-the-shelf antennas, the base station antenna is a motorized directional antenna to ensure long-range communications, and the rover antenna is omnidirectional to prevent loss of communication. These antennas have been tested at ranges of over half a kilometer and can easily transmit over the distances faced in the competition. The arm is a six degree of freedom anthropomorphic arm with a spherical wrist. Linear actuators on joints two and three provide sufficient joint torques for lifting objects. Joints two, three, and five are non-backdrivable using a worm and wheel to reduce arm power consumption when statically holding objects. Our arm uses joint space rate control with the teleoperator closing the loop. The final control system will use inverse velocity kinematics to allow for rate control of the end effector in Cartesian space. The end effector features different contours for grasping objects of different sizes and geometries and opens and closes along a linear path similar to a vise. The autonomous navigation system is built on the Ross navigation stack. The system applies sensor fusion on an IMU, GPS, and LiDAR to localize the robot position. We have implemented a local planner to navigate between obstacles and a global planner to generate the optimal path between each GPS waypoint. Once our autonomous traversal system successfully brings the rover to the given GPS coordinates, our robot will then transition to the autonomous target tracking system. To initially find either the AR tag, post, or gate, the robot will slowly spin in place and scan the surrounding area using the onboard USB camera. Our system uses the AR track Alvar packets from Ross to recognize the tags and calculate their pose. We have thoroughly tested our target tracking software on a scaled down version of the rover. The rover was set in different initial positions at varying distances and angles from either the individual post or gate, and the scaled rover was able to successfully reach the post or pass through the gate at each of these initial positions. We plan to conduct similar tests with our full-size rover using the same software. Our strategy for the science task uses spectroscopy to identify key elements of interest in soil samples. A 3-watt laser reflects off the soil, passes through a lens to increase the intensity of the reflected light, and is separated into its various wavelengths using a diffraction grating. Cameras are placed at specific locations to detect the wavelengths of light, which correspond to carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. The presence of these elements suggests the existence of life in the soil. <laughs> 